State, and I'm joined today by a distinguished scholar from Georgetown University, Professor Jonathan Brown, author of a number of works, with a speciality in hadith, which is, which are the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, Dr. Brown, um, we're here to talk for a few minutes on the, 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 the issue of hadith. Um, how would you define hadith and, and for, for a common person, um, and how do we find hadith today, and, and how does it differ from the Qur'an? So, uh, for Muslims, the Qur'an is considered to be the revealed word of God, and it was collected uh, very soon after the Prophet's uh, death in 632, and uh, it's remained historically intact since then. Uh, hadiths are kind of a secondary scripture. You can think of them being sort of a secondary level of scripture. These are reports about things that the Prophet Muhammad said or did or uh, that he approved of. And these are were passed on orally and in written form uh, for uh, a century and a half, essentially, after his death, until they were compiled into, very, into more formal written collections uh, in the, you know, two, about two centuries after the, the death of the Prophet. And uh, hadiths are very important because they explain the details of Islamic uh, dogma and Islamic practice and uh, are a major source for Islamic law. Uh, 